Hi and welcome to the first video lesson of the year. This video lesson is from chapter one and area video and as you can tell from the very first shape, this one right here, and I hope when I'm circling that it's showing that shape for you, that we're not talking about perfect rectangles or perfect triangles. I know with a perfect rectangle or a perfect triangle to find your perimeter, you add up all the sides. To find the area, you do your bank length times width. We're not talking about that. Algebra this year is a little bit different. We start getting in some uh, kind of more obscured type things. So what we're talking about here for the perimeter and the area of this shape, okay, is we are talking about finding, as you can see right there, the perimeter is each one of these little units. And we've got nice little squares here to show this. So right now we've got a perimeter of one, as I click the next one, two, so on and so forth, three, four. As you can tell, perimeter five, six is measuring the distance around this shape. Seven, whoops, sorry, I clicked on a, uh, an area one there. I'm gonna get to that one in a moment. So keep clicking around here. And let's say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's number 10, that's number 11, that's number 12, 13, and 14. So my perimeter of this shape is 14. I think right there it is. Perimeter equals 14. The little yellow lines that go around that. Area in this one might be even easier for this one. You can probably tell what we're going to do based on the red square that I've already clicked. The area of the red square so far is 1. As I click around 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So when I get over here, my area should say 11. Hopefully that makes perfect sense to you. So, let's try another one here. This one is actually maybe an even easier shape. As we look at this shape, I think it's pretty clear to see, you can tell the area of this one, the area of this shape is simply going to be 6, those 6 inside. The perimeter, as we count up the 3 on this side, the 2 on this side, the 3 on this side, and the 2 on that side, the perimeter on this one comes out to be a grand total of 10. Hopefully that makes sense. So now you try one here. And I'm going to try and bring this up. Go ahead and figure this one out. Now, here's something you got to get used to. As you're figuring this out, I'm going to tell you to pause the video. So you're going to pause it. And when you come back, I'm going to give you the answer. So please pause right now. I'm back in three, two, one. All right. The perimeter of this one should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight across, eight on the bottom. That's a total of 16 so far. One for the height over here one for the height over here. So I had 16 top and bottom. I've got two for the left and the right for a grand total of 18. Your area should have just been eight. I don't think I actually have that answer. Oh, maybe I do have that answer. There it is. Perimeter 18, area eight. Hopefully that makes total sense. That's just how easy this very first lesson is. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take some clues. Here's a little card here. I'm going to help you with the very first one, okay? So, I'm going to, actually I'm going to review this. Let's go from uh, Zoom. We're going to go to 100% here. Perfect. I'm going to work on this one right here. Uh, we'll re-zoom out here. View. Zoom. Back to the normal size zoom. All right. So, I'm going to work on fact number one. The figure contains eight more toothpicks than tiles. Well, toothpicks measures the distance around, or the perimeter. Tiles measures your area. So, if we take a look at figure A, and you should write down the information on each of these as you do them. I'm going to do it in my head, because I'm just that bright. My perimeter, my toothpicks, is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I've got 14 toothpicks. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So this one, 14 toothpicks and only 6 tiles. That means that I do have 8 more toothpicks and tiles. So you would think, and I'm going to zoom out for a second here, view, zoom. You would think that this one here and that one there are going to go together. And they might, okay, but we don't know for sure. Because what we got to do is we got to figure out the other ones. 
For example, over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 toothpicks and 6 tiles. That's a difference of 6, so that one does not work. We'll move on to this one. I'm going to start, let's see, let's start on the very top so I don't get lost where I'm going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I've got 18 toothpicks here, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tiles. 18 toothpicks minus 8 tiles, that's a difference of 10. I'm looking for 8, so this one doesn't work. We'll check this one out. We'll start at the top again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've got 16 toothpicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 16 minus 7 is 9. Well, I needed 8, so this one does not work. And then finally, for E, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 toothpicks, 6, 7, 8 toothpicks, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 toothpicks, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tiles. 16 minus 8 is 8. Ooh, this one works too. So, you can see, for the first one, I've got two possible answers. So, fact one might be letter A, and it might be letter E. So you'd want to probably write that in there. Let me see if I can just do that for you here. Yeah, those all look just nice and dandy. So we're going to go, this could be letter A or E. You probably want to kind of record that information down there. Why? There we go. Record that information on there because later on, let's say that fact 4 had to be letter E. Well, if fact 4 has to be letter E, well, then that means fact 1 has to be then letter A. Because each fact can only have one figure that goes with it. I hope that makes sense. Each fact can only have one figure that goes with it. Moving this back over so we have the whole screen back to our... Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so you're, what you're going to do is in your notes... You're going to match up and bring this in to me tomorrow. Which fact goes with which figure and try and get those all correct. Good luck to you and we'll see you tomorrow at class.